All right, 97.7 Outlaw Radio FM listeners, we are live in full effect worldwide right here with the one, the only, Mr. Lefty Goodhart. How are you doing this evening? Thanks, man. I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Hey, man, I got to say, it's a pleasure to have you, man. I got to say, you are a very talented hip-hop artist, man. And, you know, uh, finding real hip-hop artists like yourselves nowadays is very scarce, unfortunately. In fact, I agree, I, but I appreciate that, man. Humbly, I accept that. I appreciate it. But I got to ask you, man, like, taking you back to the beginning of your musical career, man, like, what actually inspired the career of Mr. Lefty Goodhart? Honestly, it was a plethora of things, man. A slew of different things. My, uh, my uncle and his friend initially, you know, picked up the art of, of, of rapping in, in, in our neighborhood where we grew up at. And they would do it, and I was just a young buck kind of tagging along. And so that actually put a bug in me right there. And then along with the music at the times that we were jamming, just that 95 of music, uh, the art of storytelling with, with, you know, cats like Outkast or Tupac. Scarface, uh, Jay Z, Nas, uh, Tribe Called Quest, just the different, the different type of uh, artists out there mixed up, mixed with the demographic that I was growing up in, man. Just it just felt natural. Plus, I liked poetry anyway in school, and it just it just felt natural. And then when when you brought up Tupac a few moments ago, man, it's hard to believe that his All Eyes on Me record is actually twenty five years old today, man. That's just crazy. Yes, yes, it is, and I remember. When I first got that, when it first came out, man, um, I got that CD, man. And so I, I still do this thing. So from way back when I was younger, um, each time I got a new album, tape, CD, or whatever, I would like I would jam it probably backwards and forwards for about a week, at least at least one week, but most times two weeks, um, just to make sure I got a good grasp on what the old, what the entire project was about. And and so that's what I did when I got all eyes on me, and it was a double disc, and I still I put it in for about I can't even remember. I know it was at least two weeks every day. I jammed that same <laughs> both discs all the way through from one all the way out, out to the end, right? So that's a lost. I think that's a lost art in, in music these days. People aren't really putting together full projects, but doing a lot of singles or a lot of club or radio bangers and stuff like that, and getting away from actually expressing uh, or provoking thought and expressing feelings through music and so I gotta say I most definitely agree with that man I really do like individuals need to put together need to put together a full length album you know like I, like you said a lot of these new artists man they're just dropping like about well, five song EPs and I, 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 I understand as well why they're doing that because unfortunately this day and age with social media individuals are so their attention spans are short so individuals aren't going to want to listen to 20 songs Absolutely, I agree. But us old school fans, man, when we actually sit back and we listen to it, it's like, damn, man, like, come on, we need, we, we want more. But this new age, they, they don't have the attention span for that. I mean, so, and I don't want to box everyone, right? So you still have artists that put together full projects, like Kendrick Lamar, uh, like a J. Cole, you know what I mean? There, there are still artists out here that still do it for the actual culture and stay true to the art form. Like uh, Tech Nine is another one. Um, it, it's, it's plenty of them out here, man, but, you know, just that's just not what's highlighted in this day and age in the era of music, and that's what's unfortunate. And the one thing i got to ask you as well, man, is because your name is very it, it's very unique. You know, you don't... A lot of people, they have little in their name nowadays and whatnot, but you have a very unique and thought-out name. Like, how did you actually get the name Mr. Lefty Goodhart? Um, just really, man, um, putting together a combination of what makes me, man, and so... I'm a man first, so that, and I want to be respected as such, so I give that out as well. So that's where the mister came in. Um, left-handed, so, you know, I use my right mind. And um, shoot, my heart's good, my mind's a fool. So that's where that came from, right? So you put it all together, and it's uh, respect the left-handed, good-hearted guy. Mr. the left good heart. And I got to say, man, the, the, the name is actually phenomenally thought out, bro. So, you know, I got to say, give you, give you a shout out for that one, man. I can tell you there's not, and that, there's definitely only one Mr. Lefty Goodhart, and that is you. Absolutely. 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 It's funny because I saw another guy that's named Mr. Lefty, but he don't have the good heart. And so, you know, I, you know, I definitely don't want to be mistaken for anyone outside of myself. And also, I want to take you back, man, to uh, Christmas Day 2018, where you were actually featured on D12 members, D12 
D12 member Bazaar's Christmas record by the name of A Bazaar Christmas. I was wondering, how did yourself and Bazaar get connected? And of course, man, what was it like being featured on that on that project? Yo, so funny thing, man. It's uh, six degrees of separation. As it, it, to give you the, the summed up, the shortest answer, right? It's just six degrees of separation, man. Um, you just really never know who knows who, and anybody can really be uh, touched or, or, or reached out to as long as you project that energy to the resources that are around you, right? So, I mean, you can you can shake the hand of any president or lawyer if you want to, as long as you utilize the the six people or the resources that you have around you, somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody is going to know somebody. <laughs> and, and so that's kind of how that happened. One of my guys, that, uh, um, one of my uh, older guys from the hood, OG partner, man, he actually uh, is that, you know, that's like uh, someone kind of like a family member to, to him. Him Bazaar are, are, you know, are cool. And so he kind of linked it. And he, he, uh, I dropped my, um, a project, a mixtape a couple years ago called uh, My Heart's Good, My Mind's a Fool. And I gave my man, and my man was checking it out, and I gave him, you know, he, he purchased one and, and just supported the brand and whatnot, and he checked it out, and he was like, and for our Lord, he posted on Instagram and shouted out, yo, Bazaar, uh, check him out, this is my man. And so he actually did, and, and, and so he he put a post up saying that he was doing certain things with it. He was putting together this Christmas album, and, to, and I hit him in the DM, and we chopped it up, and the rest was history. And as well, I believe that song was actually called It Ain't Safe, and I think it was featuring an individual by the name of Treetop. Did you actually know Treetop personally, or was that just someone yeah. bizarre was like, you know what, I think you guys would do good on this track together? Nah, Treetop is my, uh, shout out to Mo Bang, please, and Time Media Studios. So, Treetop is my man, that's my engineer, man. He's he's engineered the uh, majority of the tracks that I've done. Um as far as mixing and mastering and stuff goes. So, yeah, me, Treetop and I just have this bond and this connection and any time we get in the booth together, in the studio together, man, it just, magic happens, right? And so we just feed off each other. And uh, I sent, I actually went to lay that track to a different beat, a little mixtape beat that wasn't mine that I, that I found, right? Um, and I didn't have the, the hook, I just had a verse, and then I kept saying, it ain't safe. And then I laid it at the studio with him, and he liked, he cut it for the content and, uh, uh, you know, the rhyme so hard. He was like, bro, let me let me sit with this, man. This deserves an original track. Let me just play with it a little bit. So I let him play with it. And, and uh, a couple days went by, and he hit he hit me. He said, man, come up here. Let me check, let me check something out. And when I came up, he put, the, he put that little touch on it, what it needed, that, uh, you know, that voice, the hook. And, and he, made, he remade that track. So shout out to uh, Treetop Mobile, please, right? Uh, Time Media Studios. He actually is the producer and he featured on that hook for me. So definitely dig up my man. And we have we have other music as well that we've done together. So y'all stay tuned, man. We got, I got a hot, actually, I got a hot single that I'm sitting on. I'm trying to pick the best time to put it out. Uh, that actually Treetop featured on that one as well on the hook. So. And I got to ask you as well, man, when you actually brought up that mixtape, that was actually right next on my list, which is actually, God, what, what, like you said, it's called My Heart, My Heart's Good, My Mind's a Fool. But I was wondering, can you tell us a little bit more about that mixtape? And of course, where can our listeners actually check that out today? So right now, um, I think right now, I think it was just on that tip, man. Um, I was uh, I was talking over to with my team, man, and we was kind of come came to the conclusion to like re-release it. So I made just, I had snatched it. But right now, I think you can still go get it off of that tip uh, for the time being. So definitely check it out. Uh, it, it, it has a, a the boat. It gives you the the different sides of me, right? Uh, things that uh, whether it, everything you hear is what I've either experienced personally or I saw or I heard, you know, it's just different sides of me and man, that that's what it was really a uh, my first really solo project, right? I had a couple features on there but most of it was mostly a solo project, so and I gotta say as well, man, you know, like I actually checked that uh, mixtape out actually on Dat Piff, and I gotta say, man, I really loved the, the sorry, the track, uh, Why You Wanna, man. I really think that was a phenomenal, phenomenal track. Ah, nice, nice. I appreciate that. So I did that track a while back, man, and it just made the mixtape because it was really dope. And, um, uh, you know, it just spoke to a time and a relationship, just relationship battle between man and woman, man, and, and the difference of, of why you have a single man that's hesitant to settle down. So that's kind of 
what that 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 song speaks to, just due to what he's experienced, and then just seeing so many other failed relationships and things like that. So that's where that that track came from. He still recognized that he definitely loves and appreciates everything a woman does and brings to the table. He just hadn't found the one he wasn't ready yet, right? So that that really was that's where it came from. I appreciate you letting you actually did. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I'm not, there's not too many times people point out different, people point out different songs from that mixtape that they, that they like, and that's cool to hear. It's refreshing to hear that you check that one out, man. Hey, man, most definitely. I, I, with Down here in Canada, we're still on that COVID-19 lockdown, so I knew I was interviewing you tonight, so I wanted to go right in depth and listen to your old your old projects, man. And you know what? I think it's like a 20-plus song mixtape, so it was actually a good listen just to sit back and vibe to when you ain't got nothing else to it's do. It's a vibe, right. It is a definitely a vibe. I, I create somewhat, if you will, ride of music, right? Something that you can ride to. You got a little trip you're going to go out of town in. Uh, put that in, or, or or put my first compilation mixtape. Um, everyone with me is family, value one not for lanes. It, it's just riding music from the from the southern guy's perspective. It's just different, and, and that's the mantra for the label, man. Everything Taylor made is just different. And especially as well, man, when you listen to your older projects, it actually shows you how much you've grown as an artist, and it's also that inspiration there as well, just to keep going. Yes, yes. Which is one one thing I definitely want to inspire and push people to do is is keep going and keep go keep going and keep growing, man. That's what we all have to do. No one's perfect. There is no such thing as perfection. Um, so I, I can't tell you not to strive for it. I can just say be the best versions of yourself daily. And also, as well, you were actually the CEO and artist over at Everything Taylor Made. I was wondering if you can tell us a bit more about. Uh, your company, and of course, who do you currently have signed to you today as well? So it's everything. I have to stretch that. It's with the A, not, the, not an I. That was on purpose. Everything. Give you that seven twenty. And uh, right now, outside of myself, I'm working with a, 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 a good artist, man. A great, dope artist, Rowdy, Rowdy Beauregard, man. Definitely be on the lookout for upcoming projects with Rowdy Beauregard. Um, Y'all can check him out. A great friend, a dope artist, man. A space of special kind, man. It, it's really rare you, it, that you find cats like him out here. He's a jewel. He's a jewel in the rough, man. And I'm just appreciative that he chose uh, that that the friendship and the universe thought fit to bring us together, man. It's a beautiful thing, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for everything Taylor made for Mr. Lefty Goodhart and for Rowdy Boulevard, man. Because we've definitely been working, and I think uh, you know as long as we hold the vision and trust the process. We'll get the fruits at the end of our, at the end of the label, man. One thing I think it was um, one of my favorite quotes. He said, "You may not always get what you work for, but you will most certainly work for all you get." <laughs> and um, you do the Black History Month. That was Frederick Douglass. I want to say, yeah, quote from Frederick Douglass. So yeah, you may not always get what you work for, but you will most certainly work for all you get. And so we just keep working, man. I, I'm trying. My goal is to make everything tailor made a household name. It just be spoken around the globe and worldwide, ultimately, man. I want them all to know about everything Taylor made and what we represent and appreciate the type of music and what we do for the culture on our end. And also, as well, man, as I, we are, we got connected uh, via MJ's Hip Hop Connects. I got to ask you, how did you actually get connected with New Jersey's finest, finest publishing company? Yes. Shout out to MJ's Hip Hop Connects. Shout out to MJ Savino, man. Um... So a great, a great, another great friend, six degrees of separation, man. Um, um, I had some friends that owned the bar, and um, me, the DJ that they had and I, we kind of linked up when I dropped my first mixtape, and he, I told him I did music, and he told me, you know, uh, that he that he cut the music, and he loved to hear it. So when I dropped the project, I, I gave him a copy. It's my shout out to Kawan, Kawan J, DJ Kawan J over at uh, uh, the mixtape show. And NGI Radio, right? And my man Salute to do as well. Congratulations. He just uh, made a, a, a much bigger transition to have this platform go to a different level, man. So shout out to Kawan J, man. Um, and he actually linked me with MJ Savino, man, because he cut it for, um, he appreciated what, you know, my style, right? My style of music uh, and my person. We built a, a relationship. That's my brother, you know, it, we built a great relationship, but it happened through music. And so, man, once we linked up, and we really uh, got to talking and chopping and everything that he could do to assist 
He, he has not been selfish or, or shortcoming in any information or any kind of assistance he can provide. And um, MJ was one of his good people, with good, good friends, and he and he linked it up. So he's actually responsible for plugging me with MJ Savino. And so I love them both, man. Shout out to MJ, MJ Savino, and shout out to DJ Kawan Jay as well, and the mixtape show, MJ AB as well, man. And I got to say as well, MJ is a phenomenal individual. She's actually the, one, one of our 97.7 Outlaw Radio FM sponsors. So, you know what I mean? You got to bring up the sponsor. But I'm not just saying that because she's a sponsor. She is a phenomenal individual and most definitely is phenomenal at what she does. Absolutely. She really is. She's a, she's a workhorse, man. I can't, I, you'd be hard-pressed to find somebody that, that's going to have work in what she does, to be honest. I most definitely agree, man. I don't think she sleeps. I don't know. I don't know if she's listening to this live broadcast, but I want to know. Do you sleep, MJ? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I know, man. That's that East Coast vibe. I don't know, man. It's just a different level with them up there, man. <laughs> you know, I'm from the south. The things are a little slower on my end, right? So it's definitely not the same. <laughs> Because me, me, me my, myself, personally, man, I'm, I'm a night hawk. Like, I stay up really late, and I get up really early. I'm working on the station 24-7. There's sometimes I shot her a message, I think it's like 3 in the morning, just being like, oh, she'll get it when she wakes up, and like a minute later, she hits me back up. She's like, okay, right. cool. And I'm like, damn, like, do you sleep? <laughs> like... That's crazy, man. Like, you got to respect you got to respect those that work that work while everybody else sleeps. You have to definitely give, give the utmost respect. Man, I appreciate knowing... And me and MJ, man, and I just want to keep working with her and keep growing, doing whatever I can do to grow my brand and assist with growing anybody else's brand that rocks with me. I'm rocking with them, and that's how we—that's what we do, man. And also, man, another phenomenal individual that you actually had the opportunity to work with is actually a talented artist by the name of Ashley Monroe. I was wondering, how did yourself and Ashley get connected? And of course, well, what's the, what's the story behind you two getting together? Yeah, she great singer. Shout out to Ashley Monroe, man. I thank you for that hook on rain on my window. Um, so my play, my sister, man, from from school, like we, you know, so a friend that I've been known to go to middle school, we call each other sister and brother. Uh, she's just been there through thick and thin, and so she actually linked me up with Ashley Monroe. They were they were friends, and I was telling my sister that I needed someone to sing a hook on the song that I had that I had wrote, and she said I might have somebody for you, and then we she introduced me to Ashley. I heard her sing, and I took it. To, I took it to treetop. <laughs> I said, "Okay, come on, let's go." I set the time up, and we went to the studio. I told her what to say, and then her, you know, treetop told her how to say it. And for you know, then we had a finished product. The rest of the history. And also, man, January eighteenth of uh, two thousand twenty-one, you actually released a single, "Be Safe." I was wondering, man, what's the inspiration behind that phenomenal track? And of course, where can our listeners snag themselves or purchase themselves a copy of that single today? Yeah, so that Be Safe is streaming live on all your on all your major platforms. So anywhere where you can stream music, Be Safe or purchase music, Be Safe should be there. Um, iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, whatever. Um, the inspiration behind Be Safe, man, was just to remind us of myself as well as others. That it's not called, like, we have to, we have a responsibility to be the highest forms of ourselves because you really, for one, you never know who you'll offend, and whether it's in, intentionally or unintentionally, um, there's ramifications. And, and also the fact that, um, like I said, six degrees of separation means we all need to be safe. You never know um, what, what you can say that can, may be cool with you and your friends or your circle of friends, but one of their friends took it um, disrespectfully, and and that friend could have a could be uh, pivotal in where you're trying to go in life. You just really never know. So it's just best for us to be mindful of how we of how we live this life. That's that's how I feel. So that's what be safe is just a reference to to be mindful of everything that we're doing on a daily. And I gotta ask you, man, what is next for Mr. Lefty Goodhart? Is there anything I missed during this interview? Anything else you want to touch base on or promote while we still have you here live on the Canadian Airwaves? Absolutely. So uh, definitely we launching the website from my Paraline Applied Knowledge. It's what you do with what you know, Applied Knowledge. So that uh, website will be launching soon. Right now you can still make orders, purchase orders off Instagram or Facebook. Just DM me or instant message. But the website will be up shortly. Also, man, more visuals this year uh, for some of the tracks that I've already released, some of the singles, and then um, I definitely have an EP in store that I'm wrapping up. I know we were just talking about that, but, you know, sometimes you gotta, uh, you can't beat them, join them, right? And I, and I still 
Well, I hadn't gotten away from doing full projects, but right now I don't want to give too much out without it being appreciated properly, right? So I thought I thought to dumb it down a little bit, less is more. Um, but right now I'm just focusing on mainly videos, man, um, visuals, getting some visuals out there to you guys. Um, releasing the next single off the, off the EP, which is called End of the Night, featuring Treetop. So y'all will hear that as well coming soon. And just um, promoting the brand and growing and continuing to grow, keep going and keep going. Uh, we go, we got some things that we gonna upcome and release from Rowdy Beauregard as well soon. So that that's this year is just a year of work. Hey, you know what? But it sounds like 2021 is the year of Mr. Lefty Goodhart. It sounds like it's gonna be a phenomenal year for you. I receive that. I still appreciate that. It's peace, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> But Lefty, this is the time in the interview that I give a chance for the individual right before we wrap things up. Just a chance to give shout outs to whomever they want to give shout outs to, and also your social media handles. That way our listeners can follow you and stay updated everything, Mr. Lefty Goodhart, if they're not already doing so. Yeah, so um definitely wanna shout out to the team, MJ Savino, um, and MJ Zip Hop Connects. Um I'll, um Kawan, DJ Kawan J over at the mixtape show. Mixtape Mafia, DJ Sean Swift, all the DJs that rock with my music and my brand, all the D-Town and Dallas DJs. I want to shout out to the whole Triple D, uh, DFW area, you know. Um, also, my, my actual block, the HLB, shout out to uh, all my boys and the family. Um, my mom, I love you, Ma. Uh, I, I did it again. I'm on the radio. <laughs> um, and all the youth, man. I want to shout out to the youth and encourage them to keep going and keep growing. Um Find your purpose and be passionate about it, um, and just and, and make your and just go in that direction in life, man. Just be, live life with passion and purpose. Um, I think oh, you can you can find me on Instagram at mlg underscore etm. You can also follow the uh, Apply Knowledge page, which is at ak apparel uh, one three uh, or ak apparel underscore one three. Um, also on Facebook, you can find me at uh, Everything Taylor Made. ETM is the page, the music page. Everything Taylor Made. Also have another music page, Educated Thug Music. That's going to keep you updated on any kind of update, of, uh, future coming projects or whatever we have going. Um, that's kind of the best way. You can also follow the page, uh, K Trey Taylor. You can follow the page as well on Facebook. Um, YouTube is Mr. Lefty Goodheart. SoundCloud is Mr. Lefty Goodheart. Um, Simply just Google Mr. Lefty Goodhart and pull up whatever you need. Uh, all my music is streaming on uh, the music that I have out right now is streaming on all your all your major platforms. Uh, definitely, I, I can appreciate those fans, y'all. So add me to your playlist, whichever songs or all the songs that you like that speak to you. Add them all. Um, also on the, on Facebook, you can follow the Applied Knowledge page um, at Applied Knowledge. You can put in Applied Knowledge in the search bar to pull up the page if I have one of my shirts on there that says it's what you do with what you know, which is the motto. Um, and just check out any other gear, the joggers, the, the hoodies, the, the the beanies, whatever that fits your, your thing, and, and make a purchase, man. We appreciate all of it. It goes right back into the music or the business or the brand in some type of way. And I got to say, Mr. Lefty, thank you so much for just taking the time out of your busy evening and coming on 97.7 Outlaw Radio FM right here in Canada. It was an honor and most definitely a privilege, man. I hope down the line we can make this happen again sometime soon. Absolutely, man. I appreciate you guys for having me. It was my honor and pleasure as well. I'll come back anytime, man. Uh, just let me know and stay tuned, stay locked, man. I definitely got some more things I'm going to sing your way. Uh, just once I get this work out the particulars, man, you guys, this ain't the last that y'all have heard of Mr. Nippy Goodhart. My heart's good. My mind is good. Hey, man, you already know, Lefty. If you send it our way, we, we here in, in Canada are most definitely going to spin it, brother. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you as well. You have a great evening. You as well. Thank you.